could do that. That's totally cool. But here's the pro. Here's the thing. You're not you're not being creative enough because uh, we okay. used to draw. I used to grab pen and paper all the time. Yeah. yeah. But they, drawing Jesus is fucking boring. Yeah. Like, let's be real. Let's, what's you know what's only fucking so many rad? Poses. Drawing angels. Okay. And oh. you know what? And you know what those angels are doing? Turning of... into the Redeemer. Well, no. I mean, you could, close. You could draw the Redeemer. I'm what gonna, the fuck I'm... did the angels do? A bunch what of fought weird demons. Shit. Yeah, when did they do that? During the thing. During the fall of fall and, from and, grace. Exactly. And, so oh, yeah. you know what you and fucking do? Later. You later, draw yeah. the angels kicking angel ass yes. as the fall is happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you get to draw this badass scene, yeah. and it's all accurate and, and then, fine. And then, like, way in the background, your mom's like, oh, what's that? And then you're like, oh, it's just, that's just an angel in the background, but secretly it's a character from Wetworks. There you go. I feel like with a few practical effects and markers, you could just turn all of your wrestling dolls into, into angel dolls. And just ins yeah. say that you're doing. Just put a little robe. Just put a little like white tissue, and then it'll say it's a robe, and then just stick yeah. whatever on their back for wings. Dude, there's the fucking the the beasts of the of the apocalypse, right? Like the multi headed drunk angel with a huge body. Yeah, like the lion with the horns on its head that have like like faces that are shouting yeah. and a tail. And the fucking the whore of Babylon yeah, riding yeah, the red yeah. dragon and like there's all, all these characters. There's these, there's these bosses. Yeah, the yeah. four the four kings. A legion, legions. You a can boss. design them. You can absolutely do yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But as long as they're the bad guys. That's why I love Rob Liefeld's Goddessy doesn't push it as much as it should. It can do all types. It of can. stuff, But it was so insular. And when you had all this like this so cool narrow minded, you had all this cool energy in you, but you didn't have an outlet like Sonic the Hedgehog to mm, put it into. Mm, then yeah. your Christian, of, <laughs> your Christian energy had to go elsewhere yeah. and that's what we did Your big christian energy uh, you know drawing angels fuck yeah absolutely yeah. angel weird, armor you turning you into the weird yeah. ones or the cl or like the like the classic weird ones or like the modern interpretation oh i started i started putting some fucking v fins on those bitches okay. like i started going there started some gundam parts started like, coming out the seven heads, seven wings shit is so fucking so weird looking. Dude, for example, right? Um, I it, need seven heads. Early in, I early, need them. Early in the book of Genesis, they talk about the Garden of Eden, and then there's this angel that's hanging out at the gate that's got the flaming sword that right. says you can't get you can't get back to that tree to the fucking tree. Swords on fire, I'll cut you. You can't get back to the My tree. My burning but, uh, blade. Uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, once you're banned from getting back to the fucking the, the, the heart of the garden where the tree was, yeah. uh, the fucking burning blade is holding you back, right? Yeah. So you can, what are you going to do? You draw a sword, you put some fire around it. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Eventually you do that enough and you're like, fuck that. What's the next level? Well, why not have the blade actually be fire? Where does that go next? Totally. Well, it's basically a lightsaber. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? So why not just get straight to that beam saber point? Because that's what the fucking angel is holding because it's, it's accurate. Yeah. Who says it's not? Who was there? No one. Exactly. Uh. You can fucking, dude. That's the, that shit slowly started just becoming. Lots of cheats. There's it, lots of workarounds. Yeah. Especially, and then when Endless Waltz came out and it had the fucking wings on it, for real? I fucking right? knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> knew you were going to go there. No, no. It was, it was all, it was that little bits of everything. But Angela, like, Angela from Spawn. She's in a straight up angel. That, you yeah. can't say. All, all, all cool bits and pieces started coming together to make custom angels that you're allowed to draw totally. If you really cherry pick a bunch of spawn and you're like a super Christian kid, you just show the right issues or like you know when you know like kids oh, you're show to cherry pick comic books and they would be like here look at this and they put their hands to cover like the guns in the sure, panel above. Sure, sure. Did you just show this shot of Redeemer coming down from like the heavens? I, I like I have to reiterate that like. Again, it's it, if, it, if the rest of the content is blasphemous, it's not going to go fly. Okay. It's you not going to fly. You need to do a total conversion mod of yeah, the comic. Yeah, yeah, spawn. Just, yeah, just yeah. pare it down to the good parts and, and edit it. Yeah. Like people do with their favorite porn. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> My favorite I just got, I just got just really confused yeah. and thought what you meant was that people edit down their favorite porn in the way that we're describing so that it can pass as Jesus stories. <laughs> you well, could. I you mean, could, I think. James Gunn did direct PG porn, right? He Which did. was a short series. And there was that other thing with the where they Photoshop fruits and vegetables and healthy f banana and such. Lots of bananas. <laughs> over screenshots so uh, you know, melons, and, and gifts. Yeah. So, I mean, it eventually became a thing. I think, like, 
modern porn it'd be really hard to do that with like just the stuff that's just shot with an hd camera in like a, mo- a hotel room or like yeah. a big mansion but like classic porn in like the 80s or 90s mm. there's tons of fucking story it's yeah. to when you finish a when there's a commercial break not a commercial break when there's like a uh, uh, a segue into the next scene. Right you might as well have like a, a Detroit become human. Well, local thing pop up with the branches that could have happened. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but uh, but no, Pat. I, I I was in fact referring to uh, that skin color. It pisses me off. I can't get into that. I gotta edit this and grab Photoshop and oh, change fuck. the colors around. Wait, That's a lot real? of work. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it a lot of work? Is that you just for your boner? Isn't you it just, kind of insane you just that you would have to edit a different your, video? The color of, There's the, enough of what you're there. looking at because you're just you well, can't take it. You just look to the right, like doesn't it like seem, a second? Doesn't it seem kind of nuts <laughs> that you would take the time? To that's, change the skin color because it bothers you that that's, much? That's just... But there's a lot of porn maybe without the skin color. Maybe, man! You, you, but I like that one! Yeah. That one is the that one that one I enjoy! And I'm not gonna let that go, so I'm gonna fucking go and edit it instead! Are you talking about Bethesda modders? <laughs> Are you talking about those people with their clean faces? Oh my god! Maybe, yeah, you know... You say that, Wooly, it's a lot of work, but like, there is a Star Wars movie that is cut out uh, then, 80% yeah. of the movie. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, pure editing? See, like, oh, just cut that part. Just cut that part. <sighs> like, all those videos that we made where it's we like, cut 90% of the crap out. It's yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I was like, <laughs> it's that level of, like, what? it's that level of, like, grabbing the lasso tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While <laughs> fucking, with your other hand fucking on your boner and you're just clicking and you're so angry that you have to fucking eye drop the colors away. And you're just like, oh, I... Mm. Select color selection. I want that color. Yep. And oh no, it's going over. It wasn't a clean. I gotta reselect it. Last yeah. was not tight enough. Change the threshold a little bit. That a might help. Bit, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah. Anti- it's, it is a lot of effort, it, it's, Pat. It's probably pretty hard to fucking do accurate oh, color work. That's like depressing. It's so what it's so insane. It's, it's so insane. Just, it's like so much work. <laughs> This is probably the time cube's fault. <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite. Uh, anyway. How did you find that? Well, it's I've just it's it's that. this like a of Photoshop all... advice thread. Like, hey, I need some help. Of all these color of tones. all, like well, the, the internet editing, takes you... I just thought you meant like music, like porn music videos, <laughs> which like is very easy to do. The internet takes you places, man. Music bounces. Oh, music had... has a bounce to it, and so does most of the human body. So it's very <laughs> easy to cut to music. Oh. You had one of those nights, huh? Where you clicked on a thing and you're like, Oh, this is no, this is old. This is oh, way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still a. Th- and it's just, it's still a thing, and it's just the level of anger that it takes to be like... You don't know, it might be personal <laughs> crap. I, I, it's it's fascinating, because it's like, I, I want to sit down and talk to you and figure out, like, describe, describe to me your process here. Using your talents for, use your talents for good, <laughs> not for, for... I don't know. Is this evil or Selfish, is this just a like huge chaotic, waste of time? Ch- chaotic evil? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't understand any. That any... makes me tired. Oh yeah. Just thinking about just it. Just thinking yeah. about it. I just just turn your head to the right like three inches and there's a problem solved. Depends yeah. on Man, how many inches you got to turn. Like elsewhere. I don't know. I yeah. Eh, it's fine. I mean, God bless. Hey. No. You know, in a world... Celebrate the Lord in everything you do. In a world <laughs> where, where I get it, you can't uh, relate. It's not you, it's not the same. I know. It's almost as if I have to go through the world not relating to 80% of the things I encounter. Yeah, you look at It's almost as if I have to put myself into things that do not fucking relate to me. There's fucking videos made from the first person perspective that probably do not have the color that you don't like. It's super easy to immerse yourself. Apparently that's like a huge problem. Apparently it's a huge problem. problem. Because it's super disorienting and creepy to anybody that doesn't like match the body proportions of the person involved. Guess guess what? (laughs) Yeah. yeah, hey, hi, hello. It's fucking virtual reality What's up? Now. Welcome to fucking Wooly. <laughs> Welcome to me. You know? but That's it, fine. But it's like, <laughs> it's just like, you know that thing where you go, hey, that's not me. I can't relate to that. Yeah! Okay? No, I don't usually do that. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Oh, I don't encounter that very often. Remember it's, Rust? It's pretty nice. Remember Rust? Oh, dude, we talked about <laughs> Rust like four days ago. <laughs> like, fuck. You know? And how after that controversy where it, it auto-changed your gender and race and dick size, I never heard about the game again, again once. Again, ever. I was in there for this conversation. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. I never heard of the game ever again. I just want to bring up... I, th- I forgot which one of you guys... We were discussing, uh, like, the Bionic Commando, and you were like, It what? was you. You were and talking to a mirror. But w- no, one of you... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't fucking there. One of you was... Uh, basically, we were having a discussion. And, it was kind of like, and why... And Mirror Wooly leaves midway through the conference. I'm not talking about One this of again. you led yes. to... I can, a thing where we were talking about like, but like, what's the thing though? And we it, like it went a slight like a step further than it usually does. Yeah, okay, with I me watch. just liking the old game and going like, you know, the, it, it like I don't often play any games where a character kind of has dreadlocks, and I, I thought that, that was, was cool. That was, I thought that was a podcast where we're all here. That was me for sure. Yeah, and it, I was like, no, I remember this, and too. I just had the moment where I was like, oh, oh, that that's cool. I guess it's super minor because I never ever ever relate to the thing that I'm playing as in anything because that's not the world yeah. I live in. I live in a world where I have to automatically just relate to things that are not me. Yeah. So when I when that happened one time, and it's a white guy, that's but true. it was a slight little thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's got dreads. Yeah. I remember. And it was super minor. I remember it was me because you're forgetting the second part of this where you said that and I went, Fuck you. I don't give a shit. That's bullshit. He used to be a redhead. Yes, 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 yes. That's what it was. I remember. Yeah, like a fucking yeah exactly. And I'm like, I never get that either. There yeah. are no redheads ever as the main <laughs> character of anything. And it was like a Duke Nukem style mm. cut. Too. Yeah, look just like me. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Right, right. And that right. was impassable because neither gave a shit. No, <laughs> no, not at all. But ultimately, it's just one of those things where it's like, hey, um, I'm not used to at all, like seeing something that go that I can like not have to stretch to go. Oh yeah, I can relate to that or so whatever. So when I boot up any game and there's a character, hey, I'm almost over. Yeah, there, there you go. That guy's that, got my pecs. Especially if it's a James Bond game. Especially if it's yeah. that one James Bond That's game. That's so fucking. And crazy. that cover of that hunting simulator game. For the I saw Switch, that. That one's I also saw that. fucking scary. Why'd I get faced off? Yeah, that's weird. Um, I mean, I got that. I got that snowboarder in that in, in Moby. 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 In, uh, but he looked different in the. Well, he looked a little different in the other games. And when they tried to make him SSX. more realistic in that SSX game, it was like, yeah, it was just straight up you. Yeah, you had it as your Facebook profile for like a year. I did. I had that. I had Xavier Stone yeah. um, from Guitar Hero One. Xavier Stone was really bad. Xavier Stone was like. Wooly, why did you get into the guitar here? They right? fucking... No, Moby was worse. No, wait, you became Xavier Stone over time. But they Plus, fucking... Then they made then they made him... I year? did cosplay Xavier Stone. And then they made... um They made him into Jimi Hendrix. And I was like, aw. Boo. But anyway. Needs to be more games out of Ireland featuring leprechauns. That'll... That'll... I guess what I'm saying... That'll be the solution. I guess then it's like... I understand that's a nice feeling considering how little, how few times so- I've had it. It sounds like you need to start using the eyedropper tool. <laughs> well, I was going to say, but to like, like to the level that it becomes a mandatory thing, like I couldn't imagine the world like that. Where I'm like, it's so the default, you know? That's why it's rough to play a Dark Souls game. Hey, listen, let's, let's uh, for you, let's backtrack to a completely different conversation for the explanation to this. Do you remember I told you about a Skyrim mod that replaced all the spiders with bears? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have a phobia of spiders, but I want to play Skyrim. Yeah. I have to replace it with something. I just have to. (laughs) It's the only way. What am I going to do, not play Skyrim? (laughs) So what you're saying is, effectively, I have a phobia of certain texture packs. That's correct. And I might need a, le- a level at least this high on the hue chart to feel comfortable. Otherwise, the innate un- discomfort I feel is going to make this game bad. I'm, it's going to ruin this experience I'm for me. for the, the ultimate, like, a game comes out and it's like, 
it's a mod where you set your fucking color range. And that how everybody can be happy. Ah. Or you, they could just have the fucking balls to make an Elder Scrolls game in fucking Lizard or Cat Country, and then this problem just fucking disappears. Does it, or does it, does it like, intensify? Well, no, because then it just offsets to the furries, and then the furries yeah. are like, I like the blue ones, or, Dude, you know, whatever. Look, that was the old Moby. Like, oh, look, wow, that that's a really the, different... The, the, the last SXX, where it was Moby you. Jones from that, yeah, that's completely different. He's wearing a Union Jack shirt and stuff. And he's got, like, a helmet that always covers up his hair, so it's, like, pointless. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess, I guess what we're trying to say is the eyedropper tool was a mistake. Um... It was created for the purest of purposes, and then now. I love it. Look at us now. I don't understand you have to what, use purest. I don't understand what the eye dropper <laughs> tool does. Um, it you, gets it people. It finds the color you want. Oh, so you click it and it tells you what exact like hex code or whatever no, it is. Yeah, well, you, yeah. If you yeah. go more into it, but otherwise it's just an eye drop, and then you're like, hmm, let me pit find the color. He okay, I got it. It gets people irrationally mad at Marina fan art, is what it does. Oh, actually. I saw. I saw that on the way here. <laughs> you want to? You want to go I the other way on that? that. On the way here. You want to go the other way on that? <laughs> Holy shit! Do you understand light? No. <laughs> No! Do you remember when the very first time Big Boss got shown off in uh, Ground Zeroes? Mm -hmm. And the question was, what the fuck happened to his hair? Because mm -hmm. it was like shock yeah, white yeah, yeah. In, when he comes up off the cliff. Because the lighting effects it's like, are going nuts. When you, there's a fucking helicopter spotlight on your head. Yeah. That's what happens to your yeah. hair. Shot light, like, you know, just God bless, like, calm heads prevailing. And a simple... Detailed response showing official art that has different moods <laughs> that can absolutely saw, show you that light and mood saw, I, makes things different. I saw yeah. the one that was like, I can't believe Nintendo's whitewashing Mar uh, Marina. And it was the eyedropper tool on July 2018 next to July 2018 in the same fucking image. Just grabbing one for her, her elbow and from the side of her face because of light. Yeah, or, or, the or, the, or the picture, literal photo of the amiibo yeah. in different lighting <laughs> conditions. <laughs> and you're like, and then they're like, outright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, got that amiibo over the weekend. In it's, it's, it's exactly as it should be. In conclusion. Yeah. What is the conclusion? The, race the eyedropper tool, tool was a mistake. Did, it, did the time cube. Invent the eyedropper tool. <laughs> and the rest of this podcast is going to have to work really hard to grapple away this title of the podcast. It, right? Um. Oh man. Yeah. I was taught. Oh man. The eyedrop tool is a device. Is a time cube. Is like a powerful device. It is. It, 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 it is absolutely. <laughs> Brought to us by Time Cube yep. to keep the sides separated. <laughs> to, us by time cube. to keep the world. Are you on, the, are you on the right side of the Time Cube? Let's check with the, the eyedropper. Eye there you go. Yeah. The Rubik's Cube, also a Time Cube for propaganda device. Uh, what, really? <laughs> Is it? Keeping the colors on their own sides. Just. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, that's. 43 quintillion combinations, but only one right. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Uh, maybe wanna, maybe wanna, like a breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth moment right wanna, now. You want to commence running away from this topic as fast yeah, as possible? Yeah, maybe, perhaps.